Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the design team Helmo. And you will see I've already opened up a photograph of myself where I've magic wanded away the background and filled it with black. And I have turned myself um, black and white using image adjustments black and white. Okay, and I've also grabbed myself a photograph of a lion on a black background in this instance roaring and I'm going to use the rectangular select tool to select a part of it Control C to copy it and Control V to paste it onto my photo and I'm just going to resize it remember to hold shift while you resize to keep the image the same shape and I'm just going to move the lion layer underneath my layer okay I'm also going to shrink down my image so it's not quite so big so it doesn't cover the whole thing but that means that I'm now going to need to fill the rest of the space so I'm going to grab the paint bucket and the black and just fill the rest of that area okay and then making the double exposure effect is so easy it's unbelievable I double click on the top layer I'll just drag this over so you can see and I just uncheck the R there and boom that is literally all you have to do click OK I feel a I'm a little bit bright there so on my layer I'm going to go image adjustments brightness and contrast again I'll move that over I'm just going to bring the brightness down and the contrast up just to make myself look that little bit more dramatic click OK and the last thing we're going to do is just deal with that bit that's kind of my shoulder cut off so I'm going to go to the gradient tool and I'm going to make sure that I've got it as black and transparent and I'm going to use the gradient tool just to slowly blend myself into the darkness just to the side there down below and just zooming out to make my life easier just to make sure that I blend you may choose an image where you don't have to do this bit at all but I felt with this image that it was worth it just taking the edge away Okay, and I think that's pretty much it. That's the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching.